Hello, this is Connie Hubbard with Bibliodrama. This is part six. I want to share with you today how uh, the tool and method of Bibliodrama can be a powerful aid to open up scripture and to understand a Bible uh, passage. And uh, we're going to look at 2 Timothy chapter 2. In this chapter, there are um, some powerful word pictures. And what I did is I journaled and put myself in the shoes of each of these people that are used as examples. And there's also an object in there. So I'm going to read them in the order as they're listed in 2 Timothy uh, chapter 2. It would be helpful if you read, if you just pause and pause the video and read 2 T Timothy chapter 2 first and then listen to this. Um, so here it goes. I am a teacher. I impart knowledge and wisdom. What I do is important and highly esteemed. I spend many hours studying and learning. I sat at the feet of the master and listened to his words. I know I need to be careful with what I teach because I am judged more strictly. My knowledge is vast and I am proud to be a teacher. It is my joy to see others grow and flourish because of what they receive from me. I am a soldier. I train hard and fight wars to keep you safe. I've learned to deny my fleshly desires, suffer hardship, and follow the orders of my commander. I refuse to entangle myself in the affairs of everyday life so that I can always please the one who enlisted me as a soldier. My accomplishments in battle are rewarded and I rise in rank. With higher rank comes more responsibility as well as more honor and recognition. I dress for battle, and I'm always ready to draw my sword to defend the cause of my command. I am an athlete. I started at a young age to train and develop my body to get it into the best shape possible. My whole life is focused on that one thing, to be faster, to do better, and to be the very best. In order to do that, I need to discipline myself and lay aside every weight that would hinder me in running my race. I also know that I can never win if I don't compete according to the rules of the game. My satisfaction comes when I obtain a victory and win the prize. I am a farmer. My work is never done. I rise early and often work late into the night. I have to understand the soil and the seed. I have to know what and when to plant and how to tend the growing crop. I've learned to be careful what I sow because I know there is always a harvest around the corner. Harvesting season is a joyful and happy time, but few know how much labor it took to get there. Sometimes I don't feel appreciated. My hands are rough and my face is weather-beaten, but my family and I will never go hungry because we always receive a bountiful share of our harvest. My reward comes in knowing that I help to provide food for many people. They tell me I am always outstanding in my field. I am a workman. It took a lot of practice to develop and perfect my skills. Making paper and parchment takes practice and diligence. I have to know my material and understand its strengths and weaknesses. I need the right equipment to write the words with pen and ink, and I have to pay attention to the smallest detail. One wrong stroke can ruin the whole page. I have to keep my tools in good shape so that they are always ready to be used. I often labor alone and in a place where I am unseen. I am a keeper of the word and I never want to be ashamed of handling that word in a careless manner. 
not finished yet. Next page. Sorry. I have it right here. I am a vessel. I have been shaped and formed by the potter's hand. I have been set aside to be more useful to him and to be prepared for a good work. It is my joy to be filled and even more to be emptied out again, for this is my purpose. I must be careful to stay pure and clean, for any defilement within me would contaminate the treasure that I carry in me. Therefore, I have to take care of myself. I cannot let others mistreat me or mishandle me, nor allow myself to be used for something other than what I've been created for. I have no agenda of my own and no rights to draw attention to myself. What is important is the treasure that I carry. I am a bond servant. I have been in the service of my master for a long time. I've come to love him and I have chosen to stay with him and serve him joyfully for the rest of my life. There are many slaves and servants in our large household who do not yet understand my master. It is my job to be kind and patient with them, even when they treat me badly. I refuse to quarrel with them, but instead I do my best to correct them gently, helping them to come to their senses and see how truly great and trustworthy our master is and that in time they will understand the reasons for what he asks of them. That my master finds me trustworthy is my great joy and delight. Just to be near him is reward enough. I call this Lessons in Humility, and this is such a beautiful illustration of how each of these examples are really a progression from high esteemed teacher to a lowly bond servant. And this is how the Lord works in us, to come to that place. So uh, if you haven't already, read Second Timothy chapter 2, and you will be so blessed. Have a great day.